Clay Thompson here at Bish's RV in Junction City, Oregon. Beautiful 2023 DRV Mobile Suites Houston. Come on inside, let me show you the interior first. Look at this beautiful interior. We walk in here, look at the space in this thing. Nice big dinette when we walk in over on this side. Uh, solid surface tops, drawers and cabinets below. Cabinets above with the piston hinge so it'll hold up one hand. I can put laying things in and be able to just shut it. Plenty of lighting. We got the wood valances. We have the um, day and night uh, roller shades. Nice desk area for those of you. Maybe you're not carrying the business on the road, but you know what? It's nice to have a little desk area to do mail, maybe crafts or whatever. All at this nice little desk area. It really adds a nice feature. More overhead cabinetry, power uh, theater seating, a little storage inside there, cup holders, power. This is going to be the cloth interior. Um, there's some options there that can uh, change if we want to do something different with the furniture. And again, lots of windows around, tons of cabinets again, all the way around this coach. Lots of windows, the sconce lighting. Overhead lighting in the living area on a dimmer switch as well as dimmer switch in the kitchen and then another dimmer switch in the uh, bedroom, master bedroom. That's really nice. Uh, high to bed couch. Pan around over to the entertainment area. Um, tons of storage. Cabinets throughout. Both sides down below fireplace, TV on a swivel, storage behind, really nice job, done up very very nice, nice woodwork, all the features and creatures that you're going to look for at home. Uh, independently laid uh, floor planks, big kitchen area, this would be the appliance garage, so this one actually has the, uh, the uh, outlet inside the cabinet. And then this one here has the backlit when the cabinet's closed with the glass inlay on the cabinet door and then two more pull-out trays. Makes it really accessible to get things in and out. Um, we got our drawers below for all the pots and pans. Plenty of room. Here's the big drawers over on this side. Plenty of space. If you fill this kitchen up with pots and pans and all your stuff, you're taking too much stuff with you. Plenty of counter space here. Nice solid backsplash. Uh, big four burner cooktop with a high output burner. Great big oven. Residential microwave convection. Again, more storage down below on the sides. Dishwasher. More drawers and cabinets. Great big residential style sink and faucet. as well as the countertop on the island there too. A uh, big 13 gallon uh, waste bucket, residential refridge. So this, the mobile suites are gonna have a full house filter system, as well as the fridge having its own water filter system for the ice maker. We have a water dispenser in the side, adjustable shelving. We got our vegetable trays. We got our big deep freeze here with our big bins down below and then our ice maker tray that we can pull the tray out um, once it's full of ice. Lock system there. We move around here to the half bath downstairs with the washer and dryer in here that's already installed. The above cabinetry, nice big sink area, vanity, uh, toilet window, fan, all the features of home again. This one is typically we would not order them with the features this has. This one's pretty well equipped with the washer and dryer. I'll show you the outside entertainment. It's got the slide toppers on all the slides. So it is uh, all ready to go. It's not something you got to buy and then add a bunch of things to make it the way you want it. 
our control center here. So the remote for the fan in the kitchen area, thermostat, thermostat for your water heater, your awning switches, your exterior lighting, your gauges for your tanks, and your energy command system or power control system there as well. The above cabinet is for hanging our coats up. We got the built-in satellite prep, so our satellite box would go there. Getting up into the bedroom, nice big king bed. We have storage below. Two more folding chairs for the dinette area. Individual reading lights on each side. Individual windows if we like the breeze. Um, USB and 110 plug-ins. We got an eight drawer vanity here that is another slide out on this side with the TV and the built-in sound system. And then in the cabinet below, the Sony DVD player. And then the spacious master bathroom. Tons of room, tons of storage, big glass shower, macerator toilet, ceiling fan, and this cabinet on this side, they made them so deep that you can put all your towels, all your hand towels, uh, plenty of room. You're not going to run out of room in this coach. We look at the double sinks, the drawers below, cabinets, uh, night lighting, mirrors that are low enough for a lot of people, the vanity with plenty of storage behind there. Again, more adjustable shelving. These aren't quite as deep, but they're still pretty deep, as you can see. And then the walk-in closet. Cedar lined. Clothes racks on two sides here. Built-in safe. Lit. I'm just about 5'10", so you can see how tall it is inside the, in, in the uh, closet area. Big bank of drawers. Got the light switch there, plug-in outlet inside there, uh, very, very nice. Got the safe, and then when we close the door here, I'll show you something that's kind of nice. I know a lot of the women are going to like this, but we got the full mirror here. And then when we close the pocket door here, we would have a pocket door on this side to be able to make sure our clothing fits appropriately. This is going to have the four-step solid step system here. It does have the large assist handle. With the step above, it is pre-drilled and set up. If you wanted another large assist handle, could go on this step. So we have step all the way, or a uh, handle all the way up. So that's a nice feature. This is going to have the outside entertainment system, frameless windows, power awning that comes off the awning. So we're seven and a half feet or so off the slide out. We also have the slide out topper already there. Uh, a little bit of storage in the back corner and then our scare light above. Um, disc brakes on all three axles with the uh, independent more ride suspension. And then as we come forward, we got the full pass-through basement, another full power awning, and both awnings have the AlumaGuard shield, so when the uh, awning is in, it has the aluminum shield over the material of the awning so it doesn't uh, deteriorate from the UV rays. Access area there into the uh, plumbing and heating. Uh, you'll notice the big and small hoses coming off the furnace. Give me a call. I'll go over the details with you on that one. Um, really nice feature. Um, black tank right below, so it's real easy. Uh, kind of a non-plug-up system the way they design these. Two-piece end cap here. The more ride pin box. We got our hitch lighting here. We do have some exterior LED lighting there. And I believe that those are turn signals as well when you're going down the road. Guys coming at you, if you got your turn signal on way down the road, they can see where you're going and knowing that you're turning to slow down and watch out for you as well. 
This is going to have the big dual 10 gallon bottles, so about 20 gallons of propane on a pullout tray. Again, the other pass through storage. And then the water filter system that I talked about earlier when I was inside, as well as the copper water manifold system. Again, I'm not sure who out there is doing that in their fifth wheels. So there are a handful of things that I can say that in the Mobile Suites product, you're gonna find a handful of features that they do that nobody else does. Their frame system, their water manifold system, their disc brake system and more ride suspension, the thicker walls, on and on. Thicker baggage doors. Our outside, uh, uh, some people call it the docking station or hookup and connection center, all right there. The Truma AquaGo tankless water heater, more storage, the big slide, toppers on both of them, six point auto leveling system. And this leveling system sits out at an angle like this instead of straight up and down, which obviously is gonna mean this unit in a high wind situation is gonna be way sturdier than the others that are jacks are straight up and down along with the triple stack box tube frame. Power cord rail on the back, ladder system, another scare light on the corner, and a big one piece end cap on the back end along with the trailer hitch. Spare tires mounted up below. Um, so that's, I know it's kind of a quick video, but uh, again, Clay Thompson here at Bish's RV in Junction City, Oregon. Large inventory of DRV Mobile Suites, the Northwest Territory. Uh, reach me direct at 541-979-1770. Thanks and have a great day.